there, just getting ready for a girl's brunch. And there's my first guest. Look, it's my good friend Cassie. I brought hummus. Oh, hell no. Uh, Cassie, why don't you run over to the convenience store and grab another bottle of rosé? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody brings store-bought hummus into my house. Not even Cassie. Yourself. Here's the deal. I'm Jewish, my sister is Israeli, I have a pretty high standard for hummus, which I will not apologize for. And even if your hummus consumption is just snacking on a tub while chomping on baby carrots doing VLOOKUPs and Excel at work, then great, but make your own hummus just once and you will see the lie that you have been living. It couldn't be easier. We'll be done by the time Cassie gets back with that wine, although you know she's just gonna get herself a Slurpee. To make my hummus, I'm going to use a food processor. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can use any kind of blender you have or a potato masher or just a fork. If you do it by hand, great. It will just be a little chunkier, which is better for sandwiches anyway. First thing we're gonna do is turn on the food processor. Then we're gonna drop in two cloves of garlic. So now we're gonna open it back up and we're gonna dump in two cans of chickpeas. You can use from dried as well if you have the time and memory and patience for it. And we're going to add the juice and zest of two lemons. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of Tahina or tahina or tahini or tahini as my niece likes to say. It's sesame paste, which is basically like peanut butter but from sesame seeds. It's shelf stable and it costs about six to eight bucks a jar. It's great, you can just keep it in your cabinet and you just have it for whenever. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. more lemon, more garlic, a little bit of salt. If you want to make it smoother, add a little bit of water and let it go for a little longer. Make it to your taste, to your memory. This is where you would also add any add-ins like cumin or roasted garlic or roasted red peppers. Make whatever hummus you like or hummus that you're used to. Hummus is a staple of almost every cuisine in the Middle East. Its presence is so strong. It lives outside the boundaries of political and religious drama, from Turkey to Armenia, to Syria and Lebanon and Palestine and Israel, through the Arab nations and Northern Africa. Hummus is what millions of people call home cooking. And some Americans add chocolate. That's Cassie. Let's get this plated real quick. Oh, we're gonna make it so pretty just to rub it in her face. Cassie. <laughs> Remember, the effort you put into your food is effort you put into yourself. So good luck and go feed yourself.